Hello there. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use break-even analysis to aid in location selection. This question corresponds to problem 8.17 in your text. In this problem, Peter Billington Stereo supplies car radios to auto manufacturers and is going to open a new plant, but is undecided whether or not it should open in Vancouver or Victoria. The fixed costs in Victoria are lower because of cheaper land costs, but the variable costs are higher in Victoria because the shipping distances would increase. In the table here, we can see that Victoria has fixed costs of 600000 and variable costs of $28 per radio, whereas Vancouver has a fixed cost of 800000 and variable costs of $22 per radio. We have two basic requirements here. The first is to perform an analysis over which location is preferable, and if Victoria's fixed costs increase by 10%, how will that change our answer? So using break-even analysis, what we essentially do is set the cost equation for Victoria equal to the cost equation for Vancouver. So the blue cost equation for Victoria is 600,000 plus 28x, of course, where x is the number of radios, and we set that equal to Vancouver's 800,000 and fixed cost plus 22x. Using algebra and solving for x, 28 minus 22x is equal to $800,000 minus 600,000, so 6x is equal to $200,000, and therefore x is equal to 33,333 units. If we want to depict this on a graph using the blue line, we will set the y-intercept for Victoria at 600,000, and then just draw a line upward sloping, and then Vancouver will pick a spot on the horizontal for fixed cost of 800,000, and then draw a line with a less steep slope, and where they would cross is at 33,333 unit sales. So what we can see then is that if sales are expected to be anything less than 33,333, Victoria would be the desired location. Anything more would then be Vancouver. For requirement B, if the fixed cost of Victoria increase by 10%, that means we would take our 600,000 and basically multiply by 1.1 or 110% to give us new fixed costs of 660,000. Redoing the break-even analysis, this time with 660,000 plus 28x, because the variable cost won't change, set that equal to 800,000 plus 22x. Solving for x will give us 23,333 units. So that's a drop of 10,000 units, which means anything more than that makes Vancouver even more desirable. So that's how you use break-even analysis, which is similar to crossover points in chapter seven for process capacity.